Hello everybody, this is the Block Cop here, and uh, I'm making this video because I was receiving some emails from people um, requesting an updated version of this. This is going to be a video on how to port forward uh, servers for a Mountain Blade Warband, and uh, just a few moments, we're going to begin. Let me start up some music and get us rolling. So, the first thing we're going to do is uh, open up our command window. We can do this by pressing... Uh, Windows key R and typing CMD, pressing enter. Now, we want to get to the IP address information window. We can do this by typing in IP config and pressing enter. So, you see a list of IP addresses and related protocols, that kind of thing. Um, what we're really looking for is the default gateway, which is right here, 192.168.0.1. And um, pay attention to this IPv4 address. We'll need it for later. All right, next thing to do is to open up any, any internet browser. I'm currently using Opera, but um, you, know, you can use Firefox, Chrome, what have you. Um, I would use Internet Explorer because it's ridiculously slow, but I mean, this is America. You can work as hard as you'd like to. So we'll open it up. Uh, let's make a new tab. We're going to type in that default gateway, which mine was uh, 192.168.0.1, and press enter. Now, um, you'll be greeted with this uh, menu GUI login page, and uh, you're probably thinking, oh, well, shoot, I don't know this kind of stuff. I don't know the username or password. Well, don't worry. It's going to be, um, typically, it's going to be on the, the, the router itself, the physical part. Um, and they're going to be a sticker. It's going to have... Uh, an, an admin username and password. And typically, the admin username is just admin, but you know some people can change it up. But uh, don't worry if you can't log into this. Just uh, look towards your router or your owner's manual, and there'll be more information there. So I'm going to go ahead and log in real quick. And uh, apply. Okay, now that we're in this uh, this modem configuration page, we're going to go to Advanced Setup. We're going to go down to port forwarding under security. Now, this is where the IP4 um, address comes in handy. So we're going to go back to our uh, command prompt window. We're going to go in and see here we have the IPv4 address. This is my internal IP. This will be different for you guys. Um, so we're going to go in here and enter the IP address we, we wish to add the port to. Mine is 192.168.0. Point sixty-six, and then we're going to add a port. Now I'll put this uh, port in the description so you guys won't have to go through this um, video. Um, the port is going to be seven two four zero. Ending port is seven two four one. And let's do TCP and UDP. And don't need to worry about this. We can just go ahead and click apply. Now we can come down here and you can see uh, we get a little image of the work that we've done. Um, you can see my LAN IP address right here, which is 192.168.0.66. And you have the forwarded ports, again, 7240 through 7241. Now, uh, that concludes my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, thanks for watching.